Welcome back on Gaming. This is Devin. And January 9th starts the beginning of CES. And of course, there's not much gaming stuff that happens during CES. I mean, Sony typically shows up to that. But in this case, or this year, uh, they did show off the face plates for the PlayStation 5 Slim. And they also did show the PlayStation Portal, which is already out. Uh, but they did show some of those. There's been a lot of photos coming out from that. So just sort of wanted to talk about that and maybe a few concerns I still have about how they're going to be selling these face plates. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> but first, I just want to go ahead and say that I think that these face plates look phenomenal. I love the blue ones specifically, but the blue, silver, and red look really nice. Uh, I think they look a lot nicer than I would have thought, like with the PS5 Slim design. So that's really cool. Um, they also, like I said, showed off the PlayStation Portal as well. And just looking at the PlayStation Portal, you know, it's really nice. I mean, I, I personally have one myself. I really love it as an accessory to the PlayStation 5. It's not anything more than just an accessory to the PlayStation 5, though, in my opinion. But having that PlayStation portal next to these uh playstation 5s it sort of looks out of place just because you know it's a the standard white um as the console when you get it and you know i i sort of think that you know looking at that and then looking at these it'd be sort of cool maybe if they add some customization to it whether you know there's some people online that are like taking pieces apart and making their own colored controller but i just think it'd be cool if they had some maybe customization for the portal or you know maybe like went full blown, you know, 3DS where they had like different uh 3DSs based on the games that were coming out. So I mean, I think it'd be cool to have like a PlayStation Portal God of War designed one or something like that. I think would be really cool or you know, maybe a camel one or maybe one PlayStation Portals that go along just with these because as we can clearly see, it's selling out whenever it's on store shelves, and they're still pretty hard to find. So I'm guessing some people like the PlayStation Portal as well. But to go back to the faceplates and the consoles themselves, like I said, I think they look phenomenal. I think they look a lot better than the, you know I thought they would have, especially with that line in there. Um, I didn't really like it at first, but now seeing it, especially in these different colors, I think it looks really nice. But with how these are and just these face plays in general, just because I've been trying to search it up and see if there's anyone selling these yet or just anything in general. So with the the previous face plates for the PS5, they had it where they had two different SKUs for it. So of course you had the digital one and then you had the uh, disc version one as well. And uh, of course with these ones here, I think it's a little bit weirder just because, I mean, it's split up into four pieces of plastic now um, that's on the console. And are they going to have different SKUs for one or the other? Just because I think it'd be very weird if you had a digital version, you bought one of these faceplates, um, and then you're like, all right, maybe now I want to go ahead and get the, the disc. Uh, attachment and then you just have like a, a attachment that has the original white faceplate on it um i don't know i just think that seems very weird and especially for them to go ahead and have so then what you would have to rebuy the whole uh faceplate set just so then you can get that disk drive part I, I don't know it just it just seems very weird in that way so i know i don't know if i mean i personally think the best way would be for them to go ahead and sell the whole set of it so they just have one skew of them they uh give you all the pieces and they give you just a uh, the disc part and the digital part just so then you know you could use either one depending on which one you have there but you know there isn't anything from sony to lead me to believe that they're going to do something like that they're probably going to do it the uh the more difficult way of it, but it just seems very weird. Um, you know, if you were to go ahead and change from digital to discs. So, you know, that's just sort of a thought I would say with these, uh, face plates and the PS five slim. I mean, like I said, I think that they look phenomenal, especially with these different colors. Hopefully, you know, we're able to see, um, some like 
special edition consoles for it. So like a Spider-Man edition or, you know, what I guess whatever next uh, game comes out for PS5, which we'll probably find out later this year. Uh, maybe like a, a Venom one would be pretty cool to see in that. And the other interesting thing, too, is um, just because they stopped selling the uh, the original PS5, the what, fat PS5, uh, are they going to still continue to make uh, faceplates for that? Because for the these colors that they showed at CES for the PS5 Slim, they are also making that for the uh, PS5, the original one as well. So, I mean, you know, it'll be interesting to see if they continue with that or, you know, if that's going to be the last batch of uh, face plates uh, that will even come out for that console. And, you know, if they're going to just stay with the slim. And then, of course, we got the PS5 Pro coming out sometime probably later this year, too. But, um, yeah, anyways, <laughs> let me know in the comments below if you... Uh, you know, even if you buy faceplates or not, uh, that'd be an interesting thing to see is if people actually buy these or care about these in general. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see you. Bye. Oh.